Apollo 17 built upon all the other missions scientifically. We had a lunar rover, we were able to cover more ground than most of the other missions. We stayed there a little bit longer. We went to a more challenging, unique area in the mountains to learn something about the history and the origin of the moon itself. The lunar rover was a tremendous asset. One of the things uh, that uh, we knew was going to give us a problem was a lunar dust, a soil, very fine, almost like graphite. And it, you would throw it up when you drive the rover, it would throw up like a rooster tail. That was bad and I uh, was working around that rover, had a habit of putting my rock hammer in a pocket, leaned over and ripped one of the fenders off. But we had to fix it because otherwise the rooster tail of dust would really, really be bad. And the bottom line came up with a fix where we took some geology maps and uh, taped them together in a spacecraft with, of all things, duct tape, and then took a couple clamps from lights we had in the lunar module and clamped them to what was left of the fender, and it stopped the dust. It did the job. It was a little human intervention on a positive side after we, uh, we had a little bit of a problem. first American woman to go into space carried huge expectations along with it and that was made pretty clear just the day that I was told I was selected to the crew because I was also taken up to Chris Kraft's office who was the head of the Johnson Space Center because he wanted to have a little chat with me and make sure that I knew what I was getting into before I um, agreed to be on the crew <laughs> but I was so dazzled just by the opportunity to be on the crew and go into space that I really don't remember very much of what he, what he said. On launch day, there was so much excitement and so much happening around us. In the crew quarters, even on the way to the launch pad, going up the launch pad, you know, looking up and seeing, you know, this huge, you know, rocket that kind of sounds like an animal. You can kind of hear the gurgling and the hissing and, you know, it sounds like it's alive. I spent an enormous amount of effort just trying to stay focused. Try to, you know, I tried to block out pretty much everything that was going on around me and just kind of put one foot in front of the other because it would have been way too easy to just be lost in the, in the moment. I didn't really think about it that much at the time um, because I just wanted to get the opportunity to do that. But I've, uh, I came to appreciate what an honor it was to be selected to be the, the first woman to get a chance to go into space. 